When it comes to any employee, any worker seeking higher wages, higher benefits, more rewards from their employer, their biggest enemy is generally another employee, another worker doing the exact same thing, claiming that the environment, the pay is actually not that bad. What up folks, once again, it is indeed your boy Tim with another ride sharing video. Now this one comes straight from, I believe the ride share guys channel. This one is downright upsetting, almost insulting to any driver in existence. Now. I make it clear, I do watch a lot of other content on other channels, and I'm a big fan of uh, Sergio and the Rideshare Guys channel, or Rideshare Professor, whatever it's called. But there is another gentleman that was on the channel the other day, many of you folks that watch other content probably saw this video, giving a description of how a Rideshare driver could potentially earn six figures as an Uber or Lyft driver, driving in rideshare and earning over $100,000 per year. What made the video particularly distressing is not only is it on the same channel with someone like Sergio, who's often fighting against, you know, taking garbage and against the pay that we receive, but this guy makes some wild claims numerically. Now, in the video, he gives the way you can earn $100,000. And I mean, he gives some decent advice in regards to the type of vehicle you should have. Talked about having a hybrid because it's, you know, the cheapest, the cheapest on fuel. Talked about expenses and things like that. But the part that I have a particular problem with, and I'm assuming most of you folks, the main issue is him stating that as a driver, you can earn 40 to $50 per hour. And he stated that that was being conservative. In other words, maybe I could earn 60 or 70 bucks an hour, but just to make the video, you know, make sense for everybody, I'm gonna knock it down to $40 an hour. I can earn 40 bucks an hour. And then he talked about working potentially 12 hours per day, 40 bucks an hour, 12 hours per day, even talked about taking four weeks of vacation off per year. But if you work 12 hours a day for five days a week, you're earning $40 an hour or more, you'll make your six figures. Anyone who hears this and doesn't think this is bullshit is totally, I don't, you're out of your fucking mind. This is like literally eating the waste out of a cow's ass and not calling it bullshit. Even Derek Costa Shawi, the CEO of Uber, when asked how much do rideshare drivers earn, we, we did a video on it because we even referred to Derek Costa Shawi's claims as bullshit. Even the CEO of Uber stated that drivers can earn as much as $39 per utilized hours. Meaning that you're only earning that $39 an hour the times you have someone in your vehicle. If you are out driving for 10 hours, all of the time that you're driving to pick someone up or sitting around waiting for calls doesn't count in the $39 per hour. And we know if you're driving for 10 hours during the course of a day, at least probably an hour to two of those hours is going to be involved in going to pick someone up or simply sitting, waiting for a trip to come through. You're not gonna be driving for 10 hours and somebody's gonna be in a damn car all 10 hours. I don't even know how they would put this on the channel other than just for clickbait on the grounds that, hey, I can make a bunch of money as a rideshare driver. I'm looking to get in, into Uber or Lyft. Let me click on this video to get these instructions. This is also why a lot of folks get involved with ride sharing and then they become disgruntled or bankrupt and, and get out because you got folks like this telling you there is a windfall of cash to be made. Listen, folks, when it comes to driving and ride share, most drivers, as opposed to this guy claiming you're getting $40 an hour, most guys are probably earning anywhere between, between $10 to $25 per hour. And that's including tips, because he talked about tips. Most markets, the passengers are only 20 to 30% of passengers are tipping. Now, in my market, 72 cents a mile. 
So understand that if I'm getting 72 cents a mile, you could put a passenger in my vehicle and I could drive on the highway at 60 miles per hour. So in other words, I could have a passenger in the car for 60 straight miles the entire damn hour. And I would only make 43 bucks at 60 miles an hour. That means I got to drive a full 60 miles and I would make 43 bucks. There's no way in hell the average driver is driving 60 miles of passenger carry per hour. This is not even close to what drivers make. This is just straight up inflated numbers. Nobody is making 40 bucks an hour. For them to let him even say this on the channel is insane. When even the CEO is claiming that drivers are making $39 per utilized hour. So his numbers are actually even optimistic as opposed to Derek Costa Shower. Now he claims he drove full time 2016 and 2019 and he was making 133,000 or something like that per year. I don't even want to go back into that because listen, we know several years ago, I mean, he's going back as far as seven years, you could make a hell of a lot more money in ride sharing than you do now. You had multipliers, you had surge pricing and all of that shit. Most of that stuff is all but non-existent or very rare in almost every market. Now, I make it clear, I don't drive unless they're offering some type of earnings incentive like surge pricing, street bonuses, or earnings guarantee. And even with all of that shit added on, it's hard to make 40 bucks an hour. If Lyft offers you an additional uh, $15 street bonus for, for three trips, you do three trips, will give you an extra 15 bucks. You still sometimes do not make 40 bucks in an hour with the bonus added on. Because most trips are paying anywhere between three to maybe six bucks an hour. And you can only do so many of these damn trips per hour. So the idea of you making 40 bucks an hour seems all but impossible. Like I said, in my market, I generally do between three to four, maybe five if I'm lucky, trips per hour. Let's say being optimistic, I could do five trips in an hour. Every hour for 12 fucking hours, Five days or six days a week or whatever the hell he said for a whole year. That's absolutely not going to happen. But let's say I could do that. I could average five trips an hour. That would mean to make 40 bucks an hour. Each one of those trips needs to pay eight bucks. That just doesn't happen. That just absolutely does. There's, there's nothing about his metrics that make sense. For them to let him be on the channel saying this shit unchallenged is insane because their channel supposedly fights the good fight and is in favor of helping out drivers. This is just flat out bad fucking information. But let me know in the comments, folks, how much do you average per hour? Are the tips that damn good that you can earn $40 an hour on average 12, what is it, 10 hours a day or 12 hours a day, whatever the hell he said, and then do that day after day after day all over the year? I mean, just think about that. To average $40 an hour, 10 to 12 hours a day, five, hour, five days a week, 48 weeks out of the year. No way in hell that happens. You drive 10, 12 hours a day, some of them hours you may make seven, eight bucks because you may not get trips bet between rush hour. Now, he was in... San Francisco, a very busy market, I get it, but 99.9% .9 of U.S. markets are not as busy as San Francisco. So keep that in mind also. But fact is, people don't tip. There's only so much you can do per hour. Their fuel prices vary all over the damn place, and particularly in San Francisco and California, fuel prices are insane. I don't see how you could come close in 2023 as a rideshare driver to making $100,000 a year doing what he stated. Now if, you, now, if you're driving every single damn hour you're awake and you're getting a, a bunch of good tips, maybe for the course of a fucking year, but that's got to be odds like in the lottery range. Nobody's doing that. Let me know where I'm missing out. Maybe I'm in a bad market not seeing something or is this guy just simply full of shit it's your boy tim subscribe to the channel see you in the next video